hello my loves welcome to my channel first of all, i just want to say thank you all for the amazing support um i am so so grateful i also do have um information in the description box below if you like my reading and you want more content from me please feel free to thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my premiere videos uploads lives etc i also have new merchandise in the box below go ahead and check it out and um you know look around and have some fun all right so um let's go ahead and begin Again, I hope you are having a great day. Um, this is going to be a Divine Masculine um, energy update. I did feel led to pull uh, a couple cards, like 10 cards to be exact, uh, for, the, for the energy to start off with. So let's go ahead and flip over these cards and see, okay? Wow. All right. The first card we have is the Moon. We are still in Scorpio season. I can't believe it. <laughs> I really can't. I'm a, I'm a Scorpio sun. I just really cannot believe we're still in Scorpio season. Uh, we have Queen of Cups. Okay. The High Priestess. Two of Swords. Oh, I'm seeing a pattern here already. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern here already. Um, right out of the gate, there is something that your divine masculine needs to say to you. Now, keep in mind, this is going to just be a general message. From time to time, I do offer private. Um, that's all going to be in the website. You can also email me when I do have availability. All right. Um, which is, you know, every so often I'm really, really busy. So go ahead and shoot me an email. Check out the website if there, if there is availability. Okay. And it's not sold out. Um, but let me tell you this, take what applies, leave the rest, okay? So automatically, I am getting some strong Libra energy, okay? If you are a Libra son or you're divine masculine or divine feminine, however you want to say it, uh, regardless of gender, regardless of anything, okay? If there is a Libra in this equation, you or this person, okay? Massive Libra energy is here, all right? massive libra energy prince of pentacles okay eight of cups wow six of swords <laughs> wow four of wands that's a twin flame card okay the hermit virgo get queen of cups uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the moon also can represent the water signs, uh, in particular Cancer, Pisces, okay? Nine of Wands, okay. So, wow, the this is going to be a really, really big turn of events, okay? If this is what you're feeling right now, yeah, trusting your intuition, who? trusting your intuition uh careful reflection before taking action insights that come through meditation okay so you could definitely be the you the viewer you could definitely be the person here who is meditating like crazy um i'm also getting this energy of needing to sleep a lot or meditate a lot um more than usual Okay, this could definitely be a time for you and this person where you're needing to take a time out, you know, you're needing to take some, some, some big deep breaths here to uh, clear out your, your heart center, get your mind refocused, um, get back in the swing of things is what I'm feeling. Okay, so this high priestess card is sticking out to me, number two, number two high priestess. So I really, I really feel like this person is trapped in their mind. Okay, like this person, this could also be you, but I really feel like this is a, this is the other person. Okay, your divine counterpart, your divine counterpart is stuck in their mind. Okay, over you, over a decision a decision that needs to be made here okay there is a serious decision that's going to be coming up um before the year ends i honestly want to say for a lot of you this could be before the week ends before the month ends um i'm recording in november so if you're watching at a different later date than whatever month you're in for example if you're watching this video in july then the end of july you see what i'm saying catch my drift so 
there could be a major decision that is 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 about to happen or a major confession a major uh drop of information that you know you need to you need to get okay either from people that know your divine counterpart or your divine counterpart his or herself okay uh, I do feel like they need to say something to you, all right? Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. So you could still be in separation, okay, for the time being. Or if you're watching this video, you could have just gotten out of separation. Like maybe you guys were in separation for uh, a period of time, whether long or short and now you're back in communication but i do see an energy here of at some point there was separation at some point there was separation okay want to get some cards here in regards to what they want to say to you or what they could say to you king of cups oh wow okay this could be a water sign again uh, does not have to be but this also could symbolize a uh, cancer pisces scorpio this also could symbolize the need to pour out their feelings pour out their emotions to you because maybe for a long time they were holding this in and i feel like if you're if you know for a fact that your divine counterpart needs to either apologize to you or say something to you it definitely feels like this has been weighing heavily upon them and i just feel like now they need to get it off their chest okay like now they definitely need to to get this off their chest three of swords you just saw that the three of swords just passed my there it goes again there <laughs> there it is okay so they're heartbroken i think that what they want to tell you is that they miss you okay they're heartbroken uh this could be mutual energy but i definitely feel like something could have happened uh hopefully it's not bad Ooh, the tower yeah i was feeling that before i even pulled that card okay uh hopefully it wasn't like a death in the family or something tragic like that but that could be what it is okay your divine counterpart or this i don't know this energy is very uh solemn okay so this could be a situation in which something catastrophic or very tragic just happened to them and it could be actually pushing them back in your arms like it could be a situation where they want to be back in your good books because their life is like falling apart you know but i don't know how else to put that like it, it's just a situation where you know one bad thing after the next and i do feel like you or your divine counterpart or both of you are feeling this way you know this could be uh, an energy of just bad things or unlucky things or just blockages keep coming up and i do feel like this could be uh, an orchestration of the universe trying to have you guys rely on each other okay that sounds kind of twisted but it does make me feel like okay if this person's going through something or you're going through something you know you or this person may take this opportune moment to finally reach out to finally reconnect okay so take that how you will. But what I do know for a fact is that when somebody's back is against the wall, you know, that's the time where people go to those they love. They go to people, they turn to people who they can trust. And I feel like your divine counterpart is wanting to believe in love again, is wanting to trust you again. So if something has happened, like I said, hopefully it's not horrible or you know tragic but if something did happen to them they this could be a situation where they're gonna come running back to you and, and explaining to you that they are you know in shambles and they need your support they need your love they need your attention and what i'm getting from spirit is that this could have happened already and this also could have been a situation where maybe you don't want to give this person any attention you know maybe you really don't feel comfortable with giving this person uh an opportunity you know but i do feel like this person is 
oh yes romantic feelings i yeah i do feel like this person has romantic feelings for you exactly i feel like this person does have romantic feelings for you and love yourself first so so they know that they need to heal themselves and and you know this too you know you both know in your own special way that it's time to heal you know it's time to come together and heal together okay let's let's pull another card from this deck over here okay so that so so this this feels like this is gonna be um a, a situation that's fixing to bring you guys back together based upon tragedy that's that's how i read it you know like something you know either just being heartbroken or you know somebody could be passing away this could have happened already or you know a situation where they've come to the end of the road about something like they need to tell you something and it's it's weighing very heavily you know on their heart and i do feel like if this was cheating if this was um infidelity or, or backstabbing if, if that if that relates to you only take it if it applies but if there was some kind of a uh, backstabbing situation I do feel like spirit is saying to this person, hey, you need you need to apologize. OK, so if your divine counterpart, your twin flame did you wrong, I do feel like spirit is now telling them, hey, you know, upping the ante a little bit, you know, kind of trying to encourage them like, hey, you know, you need to apologize. You, you need to apologize um, because what you did was messed up, you know that's how i feel spirit is conveying this message is like to whoever needs to hear this is like you know it's time to confess it's time to fess up it's time to you know really just stop holding on to this fractured tower you know stop stop trying to hold it together when it needs to fall apart you know like maybe that tower needs to fall in order for you know something new to come about you know what i'm saying to clear out the old and welcome in the new so this is not going to be i think an easy period of time if you can resonate this may not be an easy situation okay for you or for your divine counterpart but i do feel like it's long overdue you know especially with this energy i feel like something is long overdue something should have happened already like there should have been a confession already there should have been an apology already okay so what spirit is trying to have you both do true love make the effort perfect exactly what spirit is trying to have somebody here do is make the effort make the effort because this is true love this is a true deep real connection and exactly i feel like spirit is saying you need to make the effort somebody here needs to make the effort and break the ice you know um stop hiding behind the curtain you know stop shooing things under the rug and finally just come clean about whatever it is you know whatever tragedy happened i mean this also gives me energy of like a job loss and i hate to bring up these 3d 3d things but this is what i'm getting like this even could be as as typical as like losing a job and so because if this person lost a job they could actually even come to you and say can i live with you okay or maybe vice versa okay that's a very rare message but i'm getting something like oh you know can i can i stay with you can i visit you because i i lost my job or you know i want to move out of town do you want to come to out you know do you want to move with me i'm seeing a lot of different scenarios for a lot of different people it's quite detailed so just please take what applies all right but it is an energy here of like you know can we start over can we can we rebuild upon what does need to stay you know once that tower has fallen can we build upon the things that we actually like about each other you know can we build upon the things that we actually have successfully achieved together or individually you know can we actually um keep this me momentum going in the positive direction and i feel like for a lot of you who are watching you know, you, you, you both could be very ambitious, you know, very hardworking people. And it just feels like maybe something just kind of went wrong here, you know, miscommunication, or there could have been cheating, there could have been some family issues going on. It's all like 3d, 3d, you know, nonsense. It's all things that I feel are blocks. You know, I see these things as blocks when it comes to the twin flame connection, especially, you know, these are all blocks 
that distract us from getting to the truth of the matter, the heart of the matter, and connecting in a, on, a, on a deeper level. So make no mistake about it. Um, your person wants to reunite. Your person wants to communicate. Your person with the high priestess is getting downloads that it's time to finally make a decision. And I do feel like either they're going to be pushed to do this or they just may, you know, one day say, you know what, like, I can't keep running away from the situation. You know, I need to just kind of come clean here or I need to, you know, finally offer something substantial. Okay, so Six of Swords, I feel, is indicating that you could have left or this person could have left. Somebody here could have left. Somebody could have walked away. But I feel like now is the time to um, reunite because I feel like you both are struggling. You know, I feel like emotionally, if it's not, if it's not like financially, I do feel like it could be emotionally. You know, you both are yearning to have that cup filled, you know, King of Cups by the queen of cups here it'd be a oh i do have the queen of cups here thank you yeah i was gonna say it would be a, a, a match well there we have it so we have a queen of cups over here queen of summer and then we have the king of cups over here you see what i'm saying so yes this is a situation where you both are compatible you both are in the same suit of wanting to connect emotionally so that's more so what i'm getting is like you both are needing to communicate emotionally there's there's a void there there's this emptiness there okay so this could this video could maybe inspire somebody to reach out to the divine counterpart you know let them know what's going on you know i do hope that if you watch this video and you feel like you know you're getting a certain nudge to to reach out or to forgive you know do whatever your heart feels like you need to do but this is what i have for now this is what i feel the message is okay i love you all so much thank you for watching like i said feel free to subscribe and you know don't miss out on other videos that i upload you know there is merchandise and links in the box below okay so yeah definitely follow your heart you know use your mind but follow your heart um keep the healing process up you know continue to heal and i do feel like this person has something very very special to tell you and sooner than later you can expect your divine counterpart to come forward with the moon the hermit and the high priestess and the tower and tell you something very special so i do feel like very very special news is what you can expect okay thank you for watching bye